What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So you started a business and took two loans to help you do so. One loan is $4,000 more than the other. The smaller loan charges 4% interest while the larger loan charges 7% interest. If you paid $610 in interest last year, how much money do you owe in total? So what I'm gonna do is actually start a chart here. So let's say we got two loans here. So we have a smaller loan and we have a larger loan. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some variables for the amount borrowed in both of these loans. So let's say the small loan, the amount we borrowed is X and then the larger loan, we uh, the amount we borrowed is why? And so when they ask us how much money do you owe in total, they're basically asking for the sum of these two. So that would be X and Y. And then notice that we're also told the interest rate for both of these. So what we can say is the amount of interest paid. So notice that both of these rows here, they're both in dollar terms. So notice that this first row, the amount borrowed, that's in dollars, and then the amount of interest, this second row, is going to be in dollars as well. So notice that the small loan charges 4% interest. So the amount of interest would be 0.4x. We would take the amount borrowed, multiply it by 0 0.04, and that would give us 4% of that amount right there. So that would be the interest in dollar terms that we have to pay for the small loan, then the larger loan, 7%. So the amount of interest that we pay would be 0.07Y. And so now with these expressions, we can create uh, equations from the information. So notice that one loan is 4,000 more than the other, which that means the larger loan is 4,000 greater than this one. So what we can say is Y minus X is equal to 4,000. That's one of the equations we can create. And then we're told that the amount of interest that was paid was 610, meaning that this plus this has to equal 610. So what we can say 0.04x plus 0.07y is equal to 610, like that. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, use substitution. So I'll isolate for this y. I'll bring the negative x over. So we'll have 4,000 plus x, like that. And then I'm going to take this expression and then plug it in here. So we would end up having 0.04x plus 0.07. And then I'm going to plug in that bracket right there. 4,000 plus x is equal to $610, like that. And now notice we can solve for the x. So if we distribute uh, 0 0.07 times 4,000 would give us 280, and 0 0.07 times x would give us 0 0.07x, like that. And that's going to give us uh, 610 would stay the same on the right side. So now what we do the 280 I'm going to bring over. So 610 minus 280 would give us what? 330? Like that. And then 0.04x plus 0.07x would give us 0.11x. Like that. And then divide both sides by 0.11x would be 3000. So that's the amount we borrowed for the small loan right there. And then notice that the Y, the amount we borrowed for the larger loan, would just be 4,000 plus that 3,000, which would be uh, 7,000. Right, so this, the amount borrowed ends up being 3,000. And then here, the larger loan, the amount borrowed ends up being 7,000, right? Notice there's a $4,000 difference between them. And so the total, they're asking, how much do you owe in total? $10,000. So that's the answer to this question. And then you could check it. So notice 3,000 times 0 0.04, that would give us what? Uh, 120. 
And then 7,000 times 0 0.07, the interest on that would be uh, 490. And then notice 120 plus 490 does indeed give us 610. So there's ways to check your answer as well. But the final answer for this is the 10,000.